How do you um, understand science? Do you think that it's socially or politically neutral? It, to, a, to a degree. I mean, of course, it's influenced by outside forces. I mean, like where the science goes, where the money is, has to. I mean, it doesn't, if, say, in my field, you can work with pencil and paper, but uh, if you're in the chemistry lab, uh, you just have to get money. Otherwise, you can't do anything. And the money comes from one of several sources. It could come from the government. It could come from a private corporation. Uh, that's about it. You know, those are the basic sources of money, and which you pick and what you do does affect the work you do. It's also uh, what you do is affected by general cultural attitudes. So it's been argued with some plausibility, I think, that uh, say in, in uh, the way evolution is interpreted has been influenced by the kind of society in which uh, uh, evolutionary theories develop. It's been argued with some, I don't know, some degree of plausibility. I don't know how much that the uh, uh, competitive, uh, you know, nature's red and tooth and claw, social Darwinian approach to uh, evolution is uh, affected by the fact that it developed within a, uh, a competitive state capitalist society. Uh, one very well known uh, biologist who's argued this is Lynn Margulis, who whose work was on uh, uh, symbiogenesis, you know, arguing that species change takes place not by competition and you know, defeat of some genes by others, but by incorporating uh, genetic genomes essentially into other, orga into other organisms, bacteria. So it's kind of a you know, cooperative mode of evolution, if you like. It's possible that those things are influenced by uh, general social cultural uh, values but and um, the fact that uh, say uh, nuclear physics developed is not unrelated to the fact that the military wanted to, you know nuclear weapons but by and large i think science develops from its own internal needs i mean you can only work on the problems that are at the borders of understanding uh, it's one of the reasons why uh, Pentagon supported science, like MIT, like me, say, that tended to be the most free. Uh, they, I mean, the, the MIT, say, in the 60s was about 100% Pentagon funded. I was working in a lab that was 100% funded by the three armed services. It was also one of the country's centers of resistance, and there was no real conflict over that. Uh, Pentagon was funding the, uh, I mean, in their view, they were, I presume, funding the development of the next stage of the economy. And from our view, we were working on things that looked interesting. So the two more or less mesh. There's some influence from one on the other.